All right, let's do some math for the decanter of endless water, and let's see how far we can really stretch this thing. So the decanter of endless water produces 30 gallons of water at most per action used to activate the decanter. If we assume that a rotating staff of people can continuously activate the decanter of endless water every round for an entire day, that's 10 rounds per minute, 60 minutes per hour, 24 hours per day, that gives us 432,000 gallons of water per day. Now, that is a lot. Um, the estimated water needs for people living in a desert are going to vary a bit depending on specific conditions. We know that they need to consume about two gallons of water per day. Part of that comes from food. Part of that will be just drinking it. So let's say two gallons of water per day just for that. If we then add some water for things like cooking, bathing, sanitation, let's make a rough, a rough estimate and say five gallons per day per person. Now that gives us 86,400 people that would have enough water from a single decanter. That is huge by medieval standards. But our water needs don't stop there because you can't live on just water. You need water food, and deserts famously aren't a great place to forage for food, so you're going to have to do agriculture and, you know, animal husbandry. That takes more water. So we calculated 432,000 gallons of water per day. It requires about 380,000 gallons of water per year to irrigate a single acre of land. So that's 88% of your water output per day. So let's say uh, we can irrigate 365 acres of land. That's quite a bit of land. Now, um, the estimates on how many people that can feed are going to vary depending on crop type, methods, uh, fertilization, things like that. I've seen estimates as low as like three acres to a person and as high as 16 people to an acre. So if we say uh, maybe we've got good fertilization and we've got uh, magical assistance, so let's say eight people per acre, 365 acres, so we can feed a few hundred people.